We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What's up YouTube, this is Ellis Function and I'm going to show you guys today something I learned a long time ago on Photoshop. Um, this is something that you probably always wondered how they made that or that's actually pretty cool that you want to make it yourself. Anyway, so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go on Photoshop. I have one pre-made already so you guys can look at it. Um, I've seen this online. You're going to go to File, you're going to go to New. And you're going to go to web on your preset and make your size 1024 by 768. So it's width and height. Make sure it's set to that. Okay, so click OK. Now you have a blank screen. Okay, so I was looking online and I saw the Royal Borealis and I was like, hey, look, looks pretty cool. Like these are the backgrounds that you probably have seen before. It looks real cool, you know, but. A lot of people want to make it themselves because they want to make custom colors and they don't want the guy's thing on it and all the watermarks and stuff so you can make it yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your paint bucket tool and you're going to get the gradient. It should be hidden underneath it. So you're going to click gradient. You're going to make sure your foreground is black. Usually Photoshop will have it on white. It will be reversed from the top. So you got to make sure that it's black and your background should be white okay so you're gonna go about on the bottom and you're gonna hold shift and you're gonna drag it up bam your your background should be black on the bottom fading into white on the top all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to filter you know distort wave you're going to set it to number of generators 10. You go square. Okay, you're going to click OK. And it comes up like this. Okay, it looks pretty cool now. All right, it's starting to look more like how it's supposed to look. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the layer over here. Double click it. It's going to pop up this. Click OK. You're just unlocking it. Now double click it again. You're going to go down to gradient overlay. Check that. You're going to go to blend mode. Um, you're going to go to Linear Burn, click that. Now, since you have that done, you're going to put your opacity about 80. So since you're getting that done, now um, you can go and set your angle to 0. You're going to go to your gradient, and you're going to go on to the side, and you're going to go down to Spectrums. Click OK. It should pop up these. These are pre-installed -really installed on your Photoshop. So what you're going to do is you're going to click one. Um, you can customize this. So you double click there. Customize the colors if you want. I'm going to leave it that color right now. So it should look like this. So you click OK. And have your opacity at 80. Click OK. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so now you need to make another gradient. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer. It's going to be on here. Make sure it's black and white still. Black is your foreground, don't forget. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to go hold shift and drag up. There you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to you go right here. You go normal. Where it says normal, you're going to go into your layers. And go on the filters and you go down to soft light click that and it should lighten up the picture a little bit on the top and darken the picture on the bottom makes it look a little bit more like shiny looking so that looks pretty good so what you're gonna do now is uh, get that and you can take your first layer with the color if you would like and you can make it more sharp so you can go maybe Sharpen more, then sharpen edges, and go um, a 
maybe Gonna cancel that. I'm just gonna leave it how it looks right now. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna sharpen the edges a little bit more. All right, it looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a brush. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a new layer. I mean, a new actual picture, and uh, you make a brush now. Click new. You need to put the width at 50 and the height at 100. Click OK. Now you have this. What you're going to do is you need to color this black. So you need your paint bucket tool, color it black. All right, now I've already done this before, but this is what you do. You go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, click OK. Since I already have that done, um, I'll just actually I'll just show you guys how to do it. Um, define preset part three because I've already done it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. You're gonna go to a uh, window and you're gonna go to brush. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go brush tip shape. Actually, wait. You need to go to your brush. And you find it, and you're gonna go brush tip shape, and you're gonna go to window. You're gonna go to brush. Bring that up again, and you're gonna make sure your size is at 100 pixels, and you're gonna change your spacing to about 350. Okay, now since you have that, you're gonna go to scattering. And you're going to put it at a thousand. You're going to put one count. Count jitter 100%. Now you're going to go to transfer on CS6 and CS5. On there, on the brushes, there should say transfer. So you're going to go on there. You just got to find the opacity jitter. Set that to 100. And smoothing should already be on and it should be good. Okay, so. Now, um, you don't need shape dynamics. So now since you're done, it's ready. Um, you're going to click OK. You're going to go out of it. And you're done. Now you're going to go back to the picture. And you're going to be like, hey, how am I going to do this? So you got to make the brush white now so now since it's white you're gonna make it all the way down to maybe like nine the on the brush size and you're, you're just gonna start filling it in just slowly just make it real clean and just fill it in actually wait you know what um, that's still set on very low opacity so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer we're making a new layer, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to start filling it in. It's real clean. Take your time doing it. Down and down. Shouldn't take too long. Then, once you're done, um, you're gonna go to uh, your layer. You're gonna make sure it's in the middle. What I usually do is I put either light in or I do soft light or um, yeah, I usually use light in. So you're gonna put light in on there, and you can change the opacity if you want. Make it blend more in. So I'm leave mine at about 100.
I usually have a layer in the middle, so it kind of blends more in. And that's about it. That's how you make it. Um, that's how it looked before on my other one that I made. That's another one that I made now. You just gotta mess with the the edges, make it sharper. Um, what you can do if you don't like just straight blur, you can go and click on that. And actually, no, you go filter and you go back to distort, go to wave, put it back at 10, make the black and white like that. And if you want, you can click it and mess with the opacity. They look pretty cool. And uh, just with that, you sharpen the edges on the black and white. And you make it look pretty good, actually. Um, within, it looks it looks really good. So almost almost just like the one that's on the internet. This one's more sharper because they use a little bit more spacing. Um, maybe it was like eleven or something on the on the actual spacing in the beginning. Um, that's on the, what I'm talking about is where you go filter and you go distort wave, where you do the spacing, the number of generators. They probably did like 13 or something. It's really hard. So when you do that, make sure it's squared and all that. Okay, so that's about it. If you like this video, please go down below and thumbs up and uh, leave any comments if you guys want. And please subscribe to my channel. I need as much help as I can. Um, thank you for you guys' support and for your time. And thanks a lot. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks a lot. See you next time.